My dear respected elders, brothers and sisters, and the viewers of the Daily Reminder Network, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa usalli wa usallimu ala ashraf al anbiya wal mursaleen, Nabijina wa Habibina wa Qurrati Ayunina Muhammad ibn Abdillah, Alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi afdalu salati wa atamu taslim, Amma ba'd. All praise and thanks be to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is our creator, sustainer, nourisher, protector, and curer. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his choicest of blessings and salutations upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family members, his companions, and all those who tread upon his path with utmost sincerity until the day of Qiyamah. Inshallah ta'ala, for tonight's heart softener, we will be touching on Raja wal khawf and that is hope and fear hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are two beautiful wings of a believer that helps a believer fly beautifully unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just as how important it is to have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is important to fear Allah the Almighty an individual his iman cannot be perfect by only fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not having hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nor can his iman be perfect by only having hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if we only have hope, an individual who only has hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would start committing all kinds of sins hoping in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not fearing the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on the other hand, if we have an individual who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only, then he is going to be neglectful of the aspect of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is not going to have hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is of extreme importance that we as believers, we strike a beautiful balance between al-raja wal-khawf, between hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah the Almighty, He states in the Noble Quran, Nabi Ibadi inform my slaves Anni Anal Ghafuru Rahim that indeed I am the most forgiving, the most merciful. Allahu Akbar. Allah the Almighty is showing us the, his aspect of mercy, Allahu Akbar. And the very next ayah, wa anna adabi huwa al-adab al-alim. And likewise, indeed, my punishment is severe, Allahu Akbar, is painful. Wa anna adabi huwa al-adab al-alim. My punishment is the punishment, a painful punishment, Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill our hearts with hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, may Allah the Almighty fill our hearts with fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of His punishment. Allahu Akbar, there are many incidents, many anecdotes from the lives of our Sahaba, Ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhi majma'een. Likewise, our Salafun as salih which highlights the beautiful balance that they had between al-raja and al-khawf, between hope and fear, between the hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say for instance, Abu Bakr radiallahu an, one day he saw a bird flying from one tree to another tree. He looked at that bird and then he starts weeping, Allahu Akbar. He falls down on his knees and he starts weeping, looking at one tiny bird. Allahu Akbar, it is only Abu Bakr radiallahu an who could do that, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. He looks at that bird and he cries. He says, Ya laytani kuntu ta'ira. Oh, how I wish that I could be a tiny little bird. A bird that flies from tree to tree. A bird that flies around eating berries and fruits. And a bird that when it dies, 
there is no hisab for that bird. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to question that bird, nor is there going to be any punishment for that bird. La hisab wa la adab. There is not going to be any questioning upon that bird, nor any punishment upon that bird. Allahu Akbar. Look at the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his heart. Radiallahu an. Uthman ibn Affan, radiallahu an. Once he was by a grave and suddenly, suddenly he starts weeping. He weeps so much, he cries so much that his whole beard was soaked. Allahu Akbar. The Sahaba who were around him at that moment, his companions, they cried out, O oh, Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu an, when Jannah, when paradise and when Jahannam is mentioned, you don't cry this much. But the mere glance at a particular grave makes you weep so much. Why? What is the reason? Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu clarifies, this is the first stage that an individual has to encounter on his journey towards the Akhirah. The first step, the first step that he takes Towards Akhirah, this is the first station. And if this, if everything goes well in this station, then henceforth everything will be okay and will go well. Allahu Akbar. But on the other hand, if things go bad in the qabr, in the grave, as that is the first station, Allah save us all, there will be difficulty throughout the journey towards Akhirah in terms of the questioning, in terms of the hisab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah the Almighty ease the questioning upon us. Sufyan al Thawri, Rahimahullah. Whenever the mention of the day of Qiyamah was made in front of him, the people around him used to say that he would go pale. He would go pale. He would go pale and he would start crying out, Allahumma sallim sallim, Allahumma sallim sallim. And this was a dua he kept on repeating, Oh Allah save us, save us. May Allah save us, may Allah save us. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah, once he was walking with Sulaiman ibn Abdul Malik, who was the caliph at that time, who was the caliph before Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah. Both of them were walking and then suddenly it thunders and it starts to rain. It starts to rain. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah, looks at Sulaiman ibn Abdul Malik and asks him, because he saw a change in the face of Sulaiman ibn Abdul Malik, he asks him, are you scared? Are you scared because it's thundering? To which Sulaiman ibn Abdul Malik, he replies in the affirmative, Yes, I am. Then Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, rahimahullah, states, This is a sign of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rain is a sign of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if it is raining, that means this is a day of mercy. If you are scared of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then what about that day when Allah the Almighty will be angry? He will be so angry that he has never ever become angry of that in such a manner. Allahu Akbar. Because we know of the hadith where the nations will go to each prophet from Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, pleading. Oh, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, please intercede on behalf of us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what would they say? Allahu Akbar. Each one of them would say, I have never seen my Lord so angry. And he has never been this angry, nor will he ever become angry like this. Nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. Each prophet will say, nafsi, nafsi. They will only be worried about themselves on that day. Except for our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, who will cry out, Ya Umm. Ummati, ya Ummati, ya Ummati on that day. Allahu Akbar. Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah. He was once in a gathering. He was in a gathering seated. And at that time in Basara, there was a very young girl. There was a young girl who was known for her piety. She was a pious, righteous young girl who used to spend her days in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fasting and nights in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She used to cry out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a very righteous, young, pious girl. So Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, he was seated in his gathering when an individual addressed him, Ya Aba Sa'id, that was the kunya of Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah. Ya Aba Sa'id, did you hear that this girl, so and so, this young girl, she is on her deathbed. She is on her deathbed. The minute Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah 
heard about it. He said, is it true? Allahu Akbar. He gets up from the gathering and heads over to that girl's house. He knocks on the door. And the mother and father of the girl were at home. They opened the door. He asked them, is the news that I hear true? Is it true? Is it true? Is your daughter on her deathbed? To which they start weeping and they say, yes, she is on her deathbed. Can I please visit her? They, they reply in the affirmative. And he enters the room of that girl. He goes with the intention of consoling her and advising her because she is on her deathbed. He goes and sits by her and he asks her, how are you feeling? My daughter, how are you feeling? A young girl, pious, righteous, who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Her days used to go in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nights in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She used to fast excessively, recite Quran excessively. She used to cry out of the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She says, Ya Shaykh, I fear so much to even travel from Makkah to Medina. The distance of Makkah to Medina, I fear traveling alone. I tremble at the thought of traveling from Makkah to Medina. How am I going to travel all alone on this journey to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How am I to travel all alone? I fear. I fear, how am I to travel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The minute she said that, shudders ran down the spine of Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah. And he starts weeping. He went with the intention of consoling her. But the minute he heard this, he started to weep. Allahu Akbar. This was how their hearts used to be, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Filled with the hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But likewise, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also used to envelop their hearts, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, and the hadith is in Tirmidhi, Man khafa adlaj. Man khafa Adlaj, Allahu Akbar, beautiful words. Man khafa adlaj, wa man adlaj, balagha al-manzil. Ala inna sil'at Allahi ghaliya, ala inna sil'at Allahi al-janna. Man khafa adlaj, he who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, adlaj. Adlaj means he will travel, adlaj means a person who travels fast during night hours. Because during the night, journey is made easy. Journey is made easy, you can travel fast. So a person who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will travel fast in the sense, he will strive hard. He will strive hard in terms of doing good deeds. He will strive hard in the, ter- in, in the sense of staying away from all of the muharramat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala due to the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has in his heart. وَمَنْ أَدْلَجْ بَلَغَ manzil. And as for the one who strives hard, who travels fast, he will no doubt reach his destination. Al-manzil means home. In other words, his destination. In other words, our destination, what is our destination? Our destination is Al-Akhirah. We will reach Al-Akhirah. أَلَا إِنَّ سِلْعَةَ اللَّهِ غَالِيَا Lo, indeed, the treasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is extremely valuable. Ala inna sil'at Allah al-jannah. Lo, indeed, the treasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-jannah. Is paradise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept reserved for us, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Allahu Akbar. Therefore, let us work on our hearts. Let us work on filling our hearts with the hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because both of these two important factors coupled together help us to fly. Like a bird has two wings, hope is one wing and fear is the other wing. We can use these two beautiful wings to fly to our beloved maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May He the Almighty forgive all of our sins. And may He accept our good deeds. May He soften our hearts. May He fill our hearts with goodness. May He open the doors of goodness for us. And may He unite us just as how He united us here tonight with our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the beautiful gardens of Jannah. Wa akhir da'wa yani alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakumullahu khair. Subhanallah.